Hey everybody, Mike Naso here from IPR with the latest on the tropics and taking a look out there uh, on what we should be seeing around this date. Right now we have just entered August so we're right down here and we are going to be on a dramatic upswing over the next month or so till about September 10th. That's about the peak of the hurricane season and then we'll go down rapidly and then we'll have a little secondary peak in mid to late October and then we should be done with the season but what will it leave as its legacy we will find out soon. You can see out there uh, today we are tracking a tropical wave that is in the Caribbean right in here and there's a lot of uh, low shear and warm water right in this region here. Very favorable conditions and anti-cyclone over this area so if the wave moves to the west northwest and develops in here we could potentially see something head up towards the Yucatan. However, if this part of the wave is the main feature, then that will continue mainly over land and maybe come up in this direction, not doing that much. But it's definitely something to watch. You could see uh, from a different perspective the colored uh, AVN color, a uh, lot of scattered convection, but it is strong convection. Remember the system that came through 99L was very tiny, only had a bit of this yellow convection at times. This is a large area of a lot of yellow and orange and blue convection, which means there's a lot of instability. So if something were to start spinning up, uh, it would be slow to occur, but would move generally off towards the west-northwest. You can see the NAM here on Monday shows the system 72 hours Monday morning approaching the Yucatan and then you can see it kind of spins it up there and by Tuesday is moving inland over the northeastern Yucatan. Pretty good ridging in effect which would probably keep it generally westward but that would be something to keep, it, to keep an eye on if uh, it did occur. You can see the no gaps 144 hours does show a system in the Bay of Campeche so again this could potentially pan out if the wave moves west but again if most of the energy stays to the north as we saw with that system last month that ended up being more of a feature near Bermuda instead of moving west then we wouldn't have to deal with it. Also uh, want to take a look at the uh, WERF model you can see lower pressures in here but no real signs of development in about 84 hours so again it's kind of a slim chance but it is something to watch also notice it develops a system out here near the Cape Verde this is the feature that we're going to have to watch most carefully and it's this this monster tropical wave even though the convection is weakened slightly this is a massive circulation here and uh, it's got a lot of moisture with it you can see it uncolorized there better look at it and you can even see the water vapor a lot of moisture there is dry air up here to the north but it's not that far south so the only real implication the dry air should have on the circulation would be uh, the northern part of the wave here maybe that'll get some dry air and trained into it but otherwise there's a lot of moisture pumping out and we are in August so the likelihood is that this could potentially develop now the GFS has been showing a lot of development consistent as have other models including the uh, Euro and uh, the Canadian you can see uh, this is the wave right here moving off and it notes more the southern end of the wave which if you look back at the imagery uh, that's kind of where we're seeing the uh, deepest convection even after it's moved off of the water and you can see over the next several days the wave develops into a depression a storm then a hurricane by Wednesday and then a week from now it's approaching the islands and you can see it goes through the northern islands as a pretty intense hurricane. That, that picking up on the GFS something that tight with those low pressures uh, you're dealing with something pretty nasty and you can see it takes a Hurricane George type track just to the north of Hispaniola uh, weakens a bit you could tell based on the uh, uh, feedback that it's weakening a bit and then it starts to reorganize as it moves through the Florida Straits just north of Cuba and then becomes a monster hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico and hits eastern Louisiana. Now, this would be exactly two weeks from now on August 24th, which by the way is the 15th anniversary of Hurricane Andrew. Now, uh, what you will notice is that this is the long range. This is not 384, it's only 324, but it is still long range. And what you uh, also note is that we have another system that follows behind approaching the Bahamas, another system out here, and a th uh, third system behind that. So uh, that's kind of the classic African 95, 96, 98 type of wave train we saw. Uh, 
again, this is unknown if it'll pan out, but if this did pan out, this would be a very nasty uh, situation, no, no doubt about that. You can see the Central Atlantic right now uh, is rather quiet. In fact, the ITCZ is very quiet. There is some scattered convection uh, near the southern islands here. That should be going in. A little bit of uh, associated convection coming back from our wave in the Caribbean. We'll keep an eye on that. But if our system does form, then in a couple of days we should be seeing a system down here potentially moving on off in this general direction. And then we'll be the critical point which we may have to deal with is the ridging. There's a very strong ridge, very much like 2003 and 2004 and 2005, where we had this strong ridge that systems, it was all a matter of timing. In 2003, we had Hurricane Fabian came up here, and it was a matter of timing to skirt Bermuda and turn out to sea. On the other hand, a week later, we had Isabel, which even though it was moving northwest way out here, got pushed back west, and then when it did turn, there was enough ridging to send it northwest into North Carolina. Same thing with Hurricane Francis. Francis came up here, started a pool, back to the west, uh, even though that was even further south. So we may be dealing with a situation like that if we do get a storm, say, here in about a week. Uh, if the ridging is either pumping stronger or if it had weakened and then uh, is building back in, then we'd be dealing with the system heading back towards the west. But it's all a matter of time. We have to wait and see if it develops first. Eastern Pacific, we got a couple of systems out there. First of all, we have a hurricane. This is Flossie. And uh, another interesting area of convection south of Mexico and another one uh, there. Latest on Hurricane Flossie, winds are 75 miles an hour. Didn't look like it would become a hurricane until an eye popped out this morning. Then it was obvious it was one. 75 miles an hour, gusting to 90. And uh, the moving west at 13, pressure 987. It could be strengthening a bit and then gradually weakening by next uh, work week. And then by Wednesday, south here of Hawaii. And uh, still too early to say. It could take more of a northern track, which could take it to the north of the islands and much weaker or it could be stronger and take more of a track well away from the islands more likely rather moderate weakening as it moves on through and further south of the island but closer so uh, how close it will get is still uh, too early to be seen although you can see systems probably going to strengthen a little bit more you can see the convection still about to wrap around and what's going to happen is this burst here on the eastern side is going to continue all the way until it wraps around and then the eye should be rather donut like and uh, it'll probably get up to say 70 75 80 knots at its peak western pacific we have two storms this is a uh, woo tip up here and this is pabuk down here and you can see they are both depressions and they are very weak but a lot of scattered convection with that so i'm mike naso from ipr stay tuned to ipr365.com podweather.com as these updates will be coming hot off the presses over the next several days i have a feeling that we may see some activity